Welcome to MTB Cooking. Today we share with you how to make a crispy zucchini focaccia. So this time around we make a, a little bit of a different type of our focaccia. First of all we take some fresh yeast that we will dissolve in water. It could be lukewarm but it doesn't have to be. We add salt, sugar and olive oil to this uh, mixture and then we just mix these things nicely into the liquid. After that we can add all-purpose flour, so completely regular wheat flour. And we'll do this little uh, by little. So we don't add all the flour at once. And once we get to this stage we want to start using some kind of material that can help us integrate all the flour very well. So we just use this hand mixer, but it could just as well be that you have a machine uh, that uh, is made for the purpose. As you can see, the dough starts to get nice and solid. And what we're looking for is a really elastic result. So you'll see that we get that uh, as we continue to add in the, the flour. So this is after five to eight minutes of kneading. And as you'll see here is, it's that we have a dough that is nicely uh, elastic and almost like chewing gum in the texture. So now, now this is all done. We don't need to work more with the dough. We just want to leave it to rest and rise. And we do that overnight. Uh, it could also be that you let it rise for 24 hours. And the idea is to just um, transfer the dough into a, uh, in this case, it's a rectangular baking dish with some parchment paper in it. That makes it easier to, to take up the bread after it has uh, baked. So just with a spatula and with your hands, you can just nicely distribute the whole dough in this plate. Then you leave it to rise uh, in the fridge for 12 to 24 hours. And the day after, this is the result. So it's a nicely risen and bubbly dough that's gonna be perfect for our focaccia. So this is the next day and we want to prepare the zucchinis that are going on top of the bread. So on a mandolin, you can easily just cut these evenly sized um, pieces of zucchini for the bread. And what we want to do is to fry them up because that's going to give a lot of good flavor to the zucchini, as well as it's, uh, it's going to get rid of some of that water uh, that's going to evaporate from the zucchini. So in some neutral tasting oil, we added a few garlic cloves. It's going to give a great taste to the zucchini. We salted and peppered it as well as gave it a bit of time, some dried time. And then they're going to cook on the pan for around eight minutes in total. They're just going to be golden brown and sweet and delicious. And remember to salt and pepper and add the dried time to both sides of these zucchini slices. As you can see here, they're getting nice and golden brown and it's gonna be just delicious to put on top of this focaccia. So what we do here is we distribute some olive oil and actually plenty of it. And we're gonna just rub it into the surface of the dough. After that, we can poke some small not holes, but more like creases in the dough. And this is in order for the olive oil to place itself nicely in those creases. And then we can actually just add on these deliciously fried slices of zucchini. So we're almost like plastering the, the surface of the dough. We are going to add plenty of grated Parmesan to the top of this focaccia bread. But we just realized here that we actually wanted to add that garlic that was on the pan with the zucchini. So we cut them up in smaller pieces and just place them around on the surface. And then it's all about just adding on all of that beautiful cloudy Parmesan cheese. 
It should be baked for 25 minutes in an oven at 440 degrees Fahrenheit. And the bread will then afterwards have to just rest for around half an hour uh, after having been taken out of the, the oven. And the idea here is for it just to settle. And as you can hear, it's nice and crispy on the edges. It's also very crispy on top and on the bottom. But in the middle, you'll have the soft and airy focaccia uh, texture of the, the bread. And it is a delicious uh, way to eat focaccia. It can actually go even as a main component of a tapas meal. We did that. We had this with some cheese and some ham um, because it has so many flavors in it. You can imagine that sweet zucchini and the garlicky taste as well. And of course the Parmesan cheese that is just amazing. This is a really great way to make focaccia and it's easy to do yourself. You only need to prepare the dough uh, one day in advance. Thanks for watching MTB Cooking here on YouTube. Please give this video a like, subscribe to our channel and we'll see you later in another video. Bye.